So after you are done with this experiment on letter graph glass prism, that is, I've gotten your table of values, I've plotted your graph, you have answered all the questions they ask you. If someone submit this table, it will be getting about 8 over 10. But if someone submit this table, it will be getting about 10 over 10. Question is, what is the difference? Let's see the difference. In this column, we have angle of incidence, 30, 40, 50, 60. Can you get 30 degrees with your protractor? Yes. Can you get 40 with your protractor? Yes. 50 with your protractor? Yes. Can you get that one from your protractor? Yes. You can do that. But can you get, let's say, 30.5 with your protractor? Please, protractor is this one that looks like this. You will see it inside your masset. Check whether you can get 30.5 from it. You can't. Because the least value you can get from protractor is one degrees. It doesn't, you cannot get decimal numbers from protractor. Are you getting it? And so that means this are angular refraction, so to speak. It shouldn't have decimal points. It shouldn't have points. And that is why this is why they will say, let them not give 10 over 10 to that person. So you have to approximate it to nearest angles. If I approximate this, I'll be having 20.00. Approximate this, I'll be getting 26.00. Approximate this, I'll be getting 31.00. Approximate this, 36.00. Approximate this, 39.00. So I, I'm getting it in nearest degrees. That will show them that you measured it out. You measured it out. That is what it means. Because if you write 19 points, 25 point, it means you didn't measure this measurement. You didn't take the measurement. You just do manipulation. But with this, they will feel, yes, you took the measurement. Are you getting it? And so it should be in whole number. But for this sign I and sign R, nothing concern you about protractor there. Nothing concern you about protractor there. Because this is a calculated value. It's not a, a, a value we get from measuring instrument. And so we'll get we have to get our i and our r sign i sign i in degrees that means sign 30 0 0.5 it still remain what it is 0 0.64 0 0.77 that is sign 50 0 0.87 sign 70 0 0.94 but the value of sign r will now change sign r still not in degrees please this one is not in degrees so sign r is no longer in degrees it's an ordinary number it is these angles that are in degrees sign 20 equals to 0 0.34 0 0.44 sign 31 0 0.52 sign 59 sign 36 please 0 0.59 sign 39 0 0.63 now this table have no effect to your graph you shouldn't change your graph you are plotted. Just do it. Then we now get our refractive index, which is sign i over sign r. This over this, 0 0.5 over what? 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.34. 0 1.47. 0 0.644. 1.45. 0 0.77 divided by 0 0.52, 1.48, 0 0.87 divided by 0 0.59, 1.47, 0 0.94 divided by 0 0.63, 1.49. So this is the table that Janus students submit. Those that are clever, they submit this because we call them genius because they took recognizance of the least measurement a particular instrument can get. And in this case, protractor, the least measurement protractor can get. 
they took note of it why making that there is no way you can say somebody manipulated here yes because everything go well here are you getting it now if they ask you to submit your tracing paper is easy very easy just use your words your glass prism rectangular prism get the tracing of it get your words your normal once you get this your normal at the close to the end like this measure out 30 degrees like this measure out angle 30 degrees once you measure it out measure out angle of 20 degrees the other side look at this 20 degrees i will connect it i will stand that here is 20 and here is 30 degrees i have gotten my tracing i'll do it again measure out 40 degrees i'll measure out 40 degrees then measure out 26 degrees. I'll measure out 26 degrees. Just use my word protractor. Measure, measure. Then I will tell them that this is 26. Are you getting it? This is my R1. This is my R2. This is my I1. And this is my I2. Like that. Are you getting it? You sketch it. Sharp, sharp. And they will see your tracing paper. You get marked for this tracing paper. Maybe 10 over 10. Get mark for your table and get mark for all the calculations you did as well. So that is how to what conclude the experiment on rectangular prism, the one that goes this way. Okay, so thanks for watching the video.